One thing I've loved seeing over the last couple of Shabbats coming to the uh, service here is um, many people returning that left just before, you know, the pandemic two years ago or had left before that. And just every week, just more and more are coming back. And, you know, it just reminds me of Isaiah 2.3, come and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob. People are returning to the house of the Lord, returning back to Zion. And some are returning back here today. We've returned, Ronit's returned, <laughs> I've returned. And uh, that's a good thing. In Hebrew, it's Tashuvah, returning back. And uh, so it's great, and yeah, amen. So uh, just to start off today, I think we're going to concentrate or uh, follow through a lot in prayer for the Ukrainian situation uh, and the people there. And, you know, it's horrendous, of course, what's happening. And uh, yeah, I don't know, I just, you know, the Lord is still on the throne uh, overall. He's still ruling, He's still reigning. No matter what is going on anywhere, uh, even outside of Ukraine. And, I, and I'd just like to start off with this scripture to proclaim who he is from 1 Chronicles 29 11, it's the New King James Version. Yours, Adonai, is the greatness, the power and the glory, the victory and the majesty. For all that is in heaven and earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, Adonai. And you are exalted as head over all. And so, Lord, we thank you, Adonai Art, that you are the Rosh Gadol. You are the head over all that's taking place right now in the Ukraine. Lord, you are the head over the nations. You're the head of Israel. You're the head of this gathering today. You're the head over all situations. You're the head over all evil. You're the head over all powers and principalities. And you are highly exalted. And Father, we invite you, Holy Spirit, to come in today. Take your rightful place in this gathering and let your word go forth. Let your name be raised high and exalted. Lord, have your way. And we just thank you for the great wonders of your power Hallelujah. that you will outwork today Hallelujah. as we lift you up. B'Shem Yeshua HaMashiach. Bonabo Baruch Atah. Hallelujah. Oh, Yeshua. Adonai. Yes, Lord, we proclaim that you are over all, oh God. Your name is above every name that can be named. Hallelujah. In heaven and in earth, we exalt you today. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you. 
The Lord our God is a man of war. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, we stand in the gap today, oh, God, for the nation of Ukraine. Oh, hallelujah. Shina, ma, 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 ma.
works of God, the nations at his feet. He breaks the bow and bends the spear and tells the wars to sing. Almighty one of Israel, you are on our side. We walk by faith in God who burned the chariots of fire. that you would continue to provide for them and be their help in this time of need, Lord. Lord of hosts, be with them. Lord of hosts, be with them. 
be with them in the fire. Father, we lift up the Ukrainian people before your throne. Lord of hosts, be with them. Father, be with them in the fire. Father, as the rockets are coming down, bombs are exploding, Father, be with them in the fire. Father, be with them in the shelter. Father, underground, deep. Father, in the corner of a room, Lord. Guard over them and protect them. Father, be with them in this storm. Father, lead them, guide them, guard over them, watch over them. They are in the fiercest battle that they know. Oh, Lord of hosts, be with them. Lord, that they would know, they would know that there's a God in Israel. They would know, Father, that the enemy would tremble at the prayers of the saints of the Ukraine right now. Father, that the enemy would tremble. Father, Lord of hosts, be their covering, be their shelter, be their strong tower, be their running water, be their manna for today. Father, let, let manna be provided for them, Lord. Father, let water be running, let gas be running. Father, let food trucks come through. Father, supply, supply the need. There is no lack in you, Abba. There is no lack in you, Adonai Roi Lo Echsar. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Lord of hosts, be with them, Lord. Amen. I agree. So much you prayed was exactly in my heart as well. Uh, I was just thinking about the line also that said, um, He is in the, um, you know, they are in the fire. We, he is in the fire. And I thought about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, how they were in the fire, but what the fire didn't touch them. And Abba, we just pray they are in the fire. Ukrainian people are in the fire, but we pray, Lord, that you will surround them as the mountains surround Jerusalem. So, Lord, we pray that your holy host of angels will surround them, child, woman, men, babies, young youth students, Lord, whatever age they are, old people, aged people, Lord, everyone, you know, where everyone is. I pray, Lord God Almighty, Adonai Sevaat, that you would be your name, Adonai Sevaat, to each and every one, couples, families, individuals traveling alone, however, whatever, the, whoever they're with or who they're not with. Lord, we pray that you would put a wall of fire, of protection around about them. And Lord, it's very similar. It's been like an, a, an exodus, a swift, quick exodus, like it was from Egypt for the Jewish people. And they lacked nothing when they left. They took, they did take stuff with them, but they lacked not food. Just like Renee prayed, we pray, Lord, that you will give them the essentials to survive to keep warm, to, to, to function. And Lord, we pray that, Father, you'll just be with them in those long queues, 14, 15, 16 hours waiting just to get to a border, let alone having to do all the paperwork at the border and to, to go through. So Father, we pray that you will be the one that will, will break open before them, be the head that will go before them. Oh God, we pray. And Father, we thank you that the Ukrainian people are rising up. Those that are still there, those that have stayed are the ones that are like the Maccabeans. They've chosen to stay and fight for what they know is right and what is theirs. And Lord, just as in the, in the, um, the time of Esther, Lord, they chose not to bow. And so the Ukrainians are choosing also not to bow to an evil regime, but to, a, to, to remain free and democratic. Lord, I pray that as they do that, that Lord, you would give them the power and do them with all that they would need. And I just wanted to read from Esther 9.1 in light of what I just prayed about Esther. It says that when that letter went out and said that they were going to be killed, it said they rose up and um, they gathered tools together and they were ready to fight. And it said, on the day that the enemies of the Jews had hoped 
to overpower them, the opposite occurred in that the Jews themselves overpowered those who hated them. And so, Father, we just pray today that you will give them this ability to overthrow, to topple, to overthrow that which is coming against them. Lord, it seems impossible, but you can give them all that that they need to do this. So use everything that they've got, Lord, and Father, just meet with their faith. Meet with their measure of faith, with a mustard grain of faith. Great things can be done. So meet their measure of faith and meet all their needs. Lord, we pray today, come to the Ukrainian people. Bless them. Lay your hand upon them. Be gracious to them. Let your face shine upon them, even in the midst of the darkness. Hashem Yeshua. I want to take a few scriptures in Psalm 46 and just turn it for them. God is the refuge and strength, the very present help in trouble. Therefore, they will not fear those Ukrainian people, even though the earth should be removed and though the mountain be carried into the midst of the sea, though its waters roar and be troubled, though the mountain shake with its swelling. Elohim tiye lahem achase ba'oz, ezra betzarot nimtza me'od. Hem lo iru'u ba'amir eretz u'bemotarim belev yamim, yemu yechmeru yemeimav, yirashu arim begavato sela. Father, we pray that at this very trying time, and the most difficult time when they leave their homes, they don't know if they're going to be a home to return to, that your presence comes upon the Ukraine. Lord, I pray that your presence in your presence is fullness of joy and that those that are believers there and there are those that are pre-believers, but they are going to sense your presence and know that in your presence they can be saved. B'Shem Yeshua Mashiach. They will find shelter. Amen. 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 The last headline that I read right before we began today said that all stops were being pulled out and they were going to attack Kiev with the fiercest warfare, including ancient weapons. And this reminded me that in ancient times, there's no, I mean, the devil doesn't have any new tricks. He just takes the old ones and recycles them. And in ancient times, God was great enough to spoil the plans of the enemy. Lord, we pray today that these plans of the enemy would be spoiled on every front, I pray, O oh God, from every direction. Even these ancient weapons, let them, let the, the enemy just fall into confusion on every front. I, I understand that soldier, Russian soldiers are running away. Let them run away by the tens of thousands, I pray, oh God. Let them walk away and run away from their tanks or whatever they have. Spoil the plans of the enemy, oh God. And let your voice be heard in the midst of this. Let it be an amazement even to the people. I, I can think even of, of the history of modern Israel and, and how God intervened in... in in war situations that Israel had. He did the impossible. He blinded the enemy or he he, he just spoiled their, the enemy's plans. Lord, we trust you to do this today and, and as long as it's necessary, oh God, in the midst of this, oh God. Let this enemy's plans be spoiled and your plan come forth, oh God, for this people of the Ukraine. Yeah, that's good. You know, he, he did. He can blind and he can also open to see. Uh, and maybe that's why they're running away. Maybe their eyes have been opened to see the hosts, the hosts, the hosts of angels, many, 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 many thousands and thousands of angels. Um, so, yeah, Abba, we pray that, Lord, there be more with the Ukrainians than more with those that are opposing them, just as it was in the days of um, Elisha and his servant. Yeah, we just pray many eyes would be open to see, Lord, the heavenly hosts and fall to their knees, run away, whatever they want to do, fall to their knees. But Lord, let them be 
um, um, what's the word? Impeded. They would not be able to move forward, but retreat. And we just declare a victory today for the Ukrainian people, Lord God, through your, the greatness of your power. Hallelujah. We thank you that you're answering prayer, Lord, that you're hearing the prayers of millions, probably of people around the world. Lord, we thank you that you are hearing and that you are moving in their midst. You are in their midst, mighty to save. Hashem Yeshua. Hallelujah. Susan, uh, Susan Hege had a powerful uh, vision just recently about seeing um, the warring angels as a gold line separating the, the Russian army from the cities. Do you want to share that or pray into it? And uh, others have had a similar... Uh, she's right here. Somebody needs to turn it on. I was praying for the Ukrainian people, and while I was praying, the Lord showed me a long, long line as far as I could see, and there were angels. I had been asking him to send angels, fiery horses, fiery chariots, and to change it, to do something to hold them back. And I, I had told Karen they must have been about 20 feet tall, but I'm not very good with height. I now realize they were about 50 feet high. And there were these massive angels as far as I could see. And I was thinking about this yesterday. They were actually, the line was curving. And I now realize it was curving along the border of Ukraine. And they were facing the Ukrainian people with their backs to the Russians. And it was completely black where the Russian armies were and they were stopped. They could not go any further. And all of the Ukrainians were golden because of the fire and the gold from them. And they were simply standing there with their swords and just their presence was stopping the army. And this, thank you, Lord, we thank you that we can actually look at the history of what has happened and bring it into today, just as we were talking just now about the history and how we know from there and bring it up. There's nothing new. With Satan, there's nothing new. And so, Lord, we thank you that those angels are standing there right where you have put them, and the Russians cannot do anything about it. And I thank you for this. Father, we ask that those angels do not move, that you do not let them move, and that you make that go around and as a ring of fire around the Ukrainian people in the name of Yeshua. Hallelujah. You know, I recall what the Lord did for us during the Yom Kippur War on the Golan Heights because we were outnumbered by those Syrian tanks. And to this day, people know that <laughs> it, it was intervention by God. And, and I believe the, the reports are that they, they saw something, that the Syrians saw something that made them retreat and turn. So, Lord, you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. Lord, what you did for us, Lord, against all odds, Lord, we ask you to do for the Ukrainians, our Lord, even today. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, that your, your angel armies are mighty to God. Hallelujah. Yeah, just to confirm uh, what you saw, Susan, um, this is an another vision that um, a very powerful intercessor in the Galil had. Uh, so I'll just read that. She sent this out yesterday. Um, she said, um, while in a prayer meeting, she said, and praying for the situation in the U Ukraine, she said uh, she had a vision came to her of a wall of angels with their hands held up very high. And the revelation um, came to her that they would push back the Russian troops and protect the Ukrainians. So it's almost exactly the same as, so God is obviously speaking and revealing and giving hope of what he's doing. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 
הללויה על הזמן הזה, אנחנו מודים לך. תודה לך אבא ישוע, ברוך אבא בשם אדוני אבא. תודה על הנוכחות שלך אבא. תודה שאנחנו יכולים להפגיע עבור אחים ואחיות אבא. כי אנחנו באמת מישראל, אנחנו יודעים מה זה מלחמה. <אח> אנחנו יודעים מה זה טילים, מה זה לחץ אבא ישוע. רק אנחנו יכולים להבין אותם אבא, בשם אישה משיח אבא. אנחנו מביאים אבא את הילדים, את הקטנים אבא, את הנשים בהיריון אבא. אנחנו מבקשים אבא, חמלה ורחמים אבא, שאתה תתערב בדם של ישוע המשיח אבא. הדם של ישוע המשיח נשפך עבור כל בני אנוש, לכל העולם, לא רק לישראל, לכל העולם אבא. בשם ישוע המשיח אבא אמרת, אתה תהיה מחסה אבא. לכל בני אנוש אבא, אנחנו מבקשים אבא שהמלחמה הזו ייפסק, תגיד לו די, הללויה, תגיד לו מספיק, תעצור, תגיד לו אבא ישוע, כמו שדוד המלך אבא שהוא חטא והמלאך התחיל להרוג הרבה, אבל אתה אמרת לו מספיק אבא, בבקשה אבא תגיד לו מספיק לאויב אבא, בשם ישוע משיח אבא, שהשדים לא ישתוללו אבא, אתה תצ... ערב בשם אישה משיח אבא במלחמה. אבא אנחנו מבקשים שאבא ותסלח על החטאים שלנו, תסלח על החטאים שנעשה בכל העולם אבא, שאי צדק אבא, שאנחנו לא מפחדים ממך, אין יראת שמיים אבא בכל העולם אבא, תסלח לנו אבא, תשפוך את רוחך אבא, תגרום לעם שלך אבא לחפש אותך אבא, גם במלחמה אז אבא, אנשים באוקראינה אם זה ברוסיה אבא, שיחפשו אותך, שיפגשו אותך אבא אבא, שיבקשו רחמים וחמלה אבא, שיהיה ריווייבל גדול שם אבא, כל המאמינים אבא, שתשלח להם את האש של רוח הקודש אבא, תשפוך את רוחך באוקראינה, אם זה ברוסיה אבא, שכולם יוכלו להפגיע בה, תודה על הזכות הזו שאנחנו יכולים גם לעמוד ולהפגיע פה בישראל, מירושלים, מחר הכרמל אבא, האש של אליהו הנביא שאבא נפל אבא, בשם ישוע משיח, האש שלך ייפול באוקראינה, אם זה ברוסיה אבא, שיגידו די למלחמה אבא, שיבואו לחפש אותך אבא, תפגוש אותם אבא, ת- תפגוש את פוטי אבא, אבא בשם ישוע משיח, הלבבות של המלאכים זה בידיים שלך אבא, תסובב אותו לרצון שלך, בשם ישוע משיח אבא, אנחנו באים נגד דת דבר אלוהים אבא, אבא בשם ישוע משיח, כל מחשב אנחנו מכניעים אותו לציות למען השם אבא, בשם אישה משיח, כל הרעה שילך ויתרחק אבא, שהלב שלו אבא, שיחזור אליך אבא, תן לו לב של רחמים אבא, לב של אבא, בשר אבא, לא אבן אבא, תוציא את הלב האבן ותן לו לב בשר אבא, תודה לך אבא ישוע, תודה לך על הזכות הזאת כי אתה שומע את התפילה של הצדיקים אבא. תודה שבאמת לכולם נתת אכפתיות שכולן נפגיע. אתה עשית את זה אבא. שמת בלב שלנו את האחים והחיות שלנו שנפגיע עבורם, שנתערב במלחמה. הללויה. אנחנו יודעים כל המלחמה באה מארוחות רעות אבא. שאנחנו אנשים רוחניים יכולים גם להילחם נגד רוח של... השייטן אבא, תודה לך אבא ישוע, תודה לך, המלחמה שלנו לא עם בשר ודם אבא, המלחמה שלנו אבא, עם רוחות רעות של השרים של העולם הזה אבא, בשם אישה משך אנחנו קושרים את כל הרע שמשתולל להשמיד את בני אנוש אבא, בשם אישה משך לציות המשיח אנחנו לוקחים שליטה אבא בשם אישה משיח אבא, אתה תשלוט אבא, אתה תשלוט אבא, כל הרע לא יגבר אבא, שיפלו האויבים אבא, אתה תמלוך אבא, קח את כל הכבוד אבא, קח שליטה אבא, תשפוך את רוחך אבא, תכסה את האנשים בדם שלך אבא, תודה שאתה שומע תפילות, בשם אישה המשיח, אמן, הללויה. Lord, Yamin Adonai Romema, 
The right hand of the Lord is lifted high. Hallelujah. The right hand of the Lord does mightily. Hallelujah.
when our sister was praying, uh, she prayed for the children. I think she mentioned yes. the children yes. um, and some part of that amazing prayer she prayed. Um, so it's kind of remained with me, um, the children. And I've seen snippets, you know, on the news of the trauma that they're going through. Uh, so I just wanted to pray into that. Um, you know, they're young and they're vulnerable and impressionable. And this will probably remain with them for the rest of their lives, this um, great exodus and just being uprooted and having to move and being so out of routine and whatever. So just wanted to pray into that and uh, also just um, perhaps raise the subject for intercession of Aliyah because, you know, even though it's shocking what's happening, God is using it Amen. to bring his people home. And there is a, um, there's what, 10,000, is it? What's in the Jerusalem Post? About, around about 10,000 10, Ukrainian Jews that are returning within the next couple of weeks. And right. there'll probably be more. Uh, whether that's directly from the Ukraine or even as they go over the borders to other nations, Israel will be there to, yes. to take them and rescue them. So uh, anyway, Abba, Avinu, Sheba, Shemaim, our Father, you're the one that knows the most the heart of a child or a mother or anybody. And in this situation, Lord, we want to bring the children of the Ukraine before you, the little the little toddlers, Lord, the ones that are, are aware that's of what's going on and don't understand it and it's confusing and all the other things that of emotion that are going on within them and not understanding. We ask, Lord, would you come as you 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 love to do and you love to bless the children. You love to bless, so you say, let the little ones come unto me. Lord, I just pray, Father, that you would stretch out your righteous right hand and you would lay your hand, Lord, of love, Lord, and even joy would find the, its way into their hearts through something, even in this terrible situation. Lord, we pray that you will bless them, you'll preserve them, you'll keep them, Father God. We just ask that you will keep off them that spirit of trauma. And Lord, you would just cause them to remain, Lord, feeling safe as their, their parents hug them and cuddle them. Lord, that they would have a sense of security. You would enable them to um, experience this so that they would not feel vulnerable. Lord, we pray you protect them from anything else that could seek at this time to try and um, just disrupt their lives through many ways it could happen. But we pray that you would also put a wall of fire of protection around about each and every one from young babies to toddlers to just, you know, that very young age up into 12 and even the young teenagers. We just pray, Lord, for divine and sovereign protection for every child. Not one would go missing. Not one would be lacking anything. And we pray, Father, that you would uh, resettle them in another home somewhere. And in time, Lord God, you would bring healing to each and every one of them, and they will have successful lives. So bless them this day. Bless the little children this day, Abba, we ask. Father, we thank you for the exodus of Ukrainian Jews that are coming out. We thank you that you're using this situation for your plans and purposes for Israel, for your people, for your nation. You want them home. And even though this is a probably not the way that they thought they would have come. It's happening and you're using it. And so we just pray, Father, you'll just, uh, just awaken many more Ukrainian Jewish people that are either still there or um, moving out, Lord, to be awakened to the possibility of Aliyah, to the to the actuality of Aliyah. This is something that is waiting for them, something that they can have. Lord, allow it just to take root and become a reality. Lord, we pray, we pray you'll uh, go before them. I just want to read the scripture that I had uh, for this prayer. I just have to find it. Um, yeah, this is it here. It's from Micah 2 and 12 and 13. And I just want to declare this scripture, Adonai, for the Ukrainian Jewish people. I will surely assemble all of you, O Jacob. I will surely gather the remnant of Israel. I will put them together like sheep of the fold, 
like a flock in the midst of their pasture. They shall make a loud noise because of so many people. The one who breaks open will come up before them. They will break out, pass through the gate, even the gates of other European borders, Lord, and go out by it. Their king shall pass before them with the Lord at their head. Abba, we ask, we bring your word before you today and ask that, Lord God, you would bring it to pass for the Ukrainian Jewish people. Every word that's written here, you will open up the gates before them. You will go break open the way before them. You will make the way possible. Lord, you'll be their head going and preparing the way before them with every detail, paperwork. Lord, just every essential need. Lord, flights, Lord, bring them home. Bring your people home, Abba. This is their homeland. This is a prepared place for them. So bring them home. We ask every one of them from the oldest to the youngest. In the mighty name of Yeshua, we pray. Amen. You know, uh, Israel is really what Israel does for its people. Other countries don't. How the Israelis agent, the Jewish agency, agencies send people to the borders and along the long, long lines of cars try to find Israelis or Jewish people that they take them out and then shorten their, they don't have to stand in these long lines. And it's so lovely that they're doing that. But this morning I was thinking about the one that no one comes for. You know, the one that's standing there for hours and days and and they don't even know where they're going to, even if they get to Poland or Romania, they don't know what they're going to, they don't have anyone waiting for their father. So we just thank you that you're the God of mercy, <laughs> that your love and your kindness is to those people that absolutely lost everything, everything that is familiar to them, everything that they love and, and know is no more. And they're going into the very unknown, future but you're standing there on the other side with your arms open and you're waiting them for those people to come i thank you for your grace i thank you for your mercy for saving them thank you for them having encounters with yeshua along the way they didn't go even look for you yeshua but you went to look for them i thank you for that Hashem yeshua Mashiach. amen this be a time when people will find you, oh God, Lord. Lord, we pray for the believers in the Ukraine. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the strong believers who are crying out night and day to you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you are hearing their cries. Lord, we pray that you would empower them, embolden them, Lord. Take all fear from them, Lord. Make them bold in their witness, oh God. Oh, karabashi, karabashata. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Show yourself mighty in the midst, oh God. Oh, Korana Meshi Karabashakatanda. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for the miraculous provision, the miraculous displays of who you are, oh God, Lord. That open hearts now, Lord. We ask you to go through that nation, oh God. Lord, we pray for the Russians as well. Lord, we pray for the soldiers that have been sent in, oh God. Lord, not because they wanted to, Lord, but because they're under orders, Lord, we pray, oh God, that you would speak to them, you would reveal yourself to them. Lord, we ask you to turn the tide. Send out your light and your truth, oh God, in the midst of the storm, in the midst of the darkness. Your light and your truth, oh God. Lord, let your kingdom be advancing, oh God, against the plans of the enemy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that your counsel will prevail. Thank you, Lord, that the plans of man come to nothing, oh God. The plans of the nations, oh God. The nations rage, oh God. But you are Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. Oh,
Josie prayed for the children. I've heard testimonies from little children who were saved from danger. And they told grandpa or someone, but it was the one in white. It was the one he picked me up. He brought, he saved me from the car hitting me or something, some tragedy. And I thought, Lord, wouldn't it be marvelous if out of this children and old ladies and everyone had there are many testimonies of a, that they saw an angel or an angel came to them. An angel was directed and, and, you know, I saw the hand of God. You know, he, his hand can speak. Go here and rescue that one. Go here and lift that one up. Go here and spare that one. So I, I just stayed in my spirit. He sent armies of angels. Commanded by his word, he said, armies of angels, commanded by his word, and we were surrounded, surrounded, surrounded by him, and we were surrounded, surrounded, surrounded by him, for he sent armies of angels, commanded by his word he sent armies of angels commanded by his word and oh we were surrounded we were surrounded we were surrounded by him and we were surrounded 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 by him Lord, let the children, let them be gifted to see in this day, oh God, to have this experience. It'll be reassuring and comforting to them. It'll mark them for their life to have such an experience. 
He sent armies of angels commanded by his word. He sent armies of angels. They were commanded by his word. And we, we were surrounded, surrounded, surrounded by him. Oh, we were surrounded, surrounded, surrounded by him.
Yeah, I actually uh, wanted to pray for, um, is it the president or the prime minister Zelensky? What's his, his pre he's a president, okay. Um, elected. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, anyway, that had, <laughs> it was on my heart before I came in to pray, so I'm glad you mentioned that, Penny, um, and prayed into that. Very good. Uh, yeah, you know, I didn't know. I'd never really seen him before because I've never really followed him in the news or whatever, heard about him, but I've never seen a photo. And when I saw him on the news uh, last night, I couldn't believe how light little he was. It's like a little katanchik, and yet inside he's like big. You know, he's got koach, and yeah. So, yeah, I just wanted to pray into that. Um, I know he was offered to come home um, for the, um, you know, the... Um, LL to bring him home, but he chose home. to stay. Home where? Israel. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Because yeah. it's yeah. you know he wanted they wanted to bring all the Jews out, but they and but he's you know he's a leader. He's chosen to stay, and maybe you know God, we pray that God will protect him. But uh, you know he's chosen to stay in the midst of uh, risk, and I think that's admirable. And as I thought about him over the last few days, he reminds me of Mordecai, because he's kind of like not been so much in the news, he's kind of like hidden, and I don't think he was so popular with the people for a long time. For whatever reason, I don't know. I just heard that he wasn't that popular, but they're really praising him now. They're loving him for what he's doing. He's standing ground, he's being strong, and uh, you know, it's kind of like the, kind of like Mordecai, you know, it was unknown, unheard of, but raised up for a purpose for such a time as this Amen. and honored, honored. So Lord, we wanna bring this President Zelensky before you. Father, we thank you that he's one of your people and this is his position, this is where you've placed him, this is his post for this time, this season and in this terrible situation. We wanna pray, Father God, as a leader of a nation and as one of your people that you would anoint him Lord, with the anointing of great wisdom, great discernment, give him dreams and visions of strategies of what he should do, what he shouldn't do. Lord, open his eyes to see into the spiritual realm. Lord, we pray that you would surround him. He is surrounded by enemies, but he is surrounded by you. So we take solace in that to know that you are protecting him uh, for who he is and his position. And uh, Lord, we just pray, Father, that you would um, also just uh, raise up others to be around him, to be wise, to, wise counselors, that counsel of many, they can make one decision together in agreement. Lord, we just pray that you'll anoint his head with oil. And uh, Father, you will, you will be his shepherd, guiding him and leading him in this time. We present him before you and thank you, Lord, that you will answer not just these prayers, but all the prayers that are being prayed for him. And Lord, he will return home. You will save him to return back to Israel at the right time in the right season to have spiritual salvation. So Father, guard him, send hosts of angels to be around about him, his home, his family, his um, government. In the name of our Messiah, amen. I also want to pray for the Chabad rabbi and his people. They're doing an amazing job. They interviewed him and said, why don't you go to Israel? And he said, there are too many disabled and elderly people who is going to care for them. And that's a price to pay. And I really honor him for that. And I know that God does. So Father, we pray for that rabbi, Chabad rabbi and his people that choose to remain behind to care for the elderly and the disabled Father, we pray for salvation for them. We pray for an awakening, a, a spiritual awakening. Yeshua, please reveal yourself to them. B'Shem Yeshua Mashiach. And I thank you that, that uh, even though there are people that are remaining behind, they're not all in lines going, trying to get out of, that you're going to have your hand upon them, your wonderful hand, and protect them. B'Shem Yeshua Mashiach. Susan has something. As the war started, we wondered what can we do for the Holocaust survivors here. 
And so I decided the best thing was to call them each individually and ask them, do you have someone in Ukraine? Do you have someone in a country nearby? Do you have someone that we can pray for? Can we pray for you? And it was an opening. But it brought something to me that I never even looked for. And it was, it was a, kind of a shock. Uh, and especially you sang about truth. And we spoke about Stalin. And that's what this is. These were children. Most of them were children and young people during the war, during the Holocaust. And many of them in the Slavic countries listened to their parents who loved Stalin. And they learned to love Stalin. They did not know that he is responsible for up to 29 million deaths of his own people. And they did not know that he was a murderer. Do you know today they still admire Stalin? Even sitting here in Israel, even with everything they hear, they love Stalin. And so what did I hear from them? What they've heard on the news, because the only channel they can get is the Russian channel, and it's propaganda. And it's telling that Ukraine attacked, and therefore Russia has retaliated. They are saying to us, we hope that Russia takes Ukraine. It needs to get back into the Soviet Union. Wow. It hit me hard. Wow. And so I would ask that we pray for the truth, because the Lord said, if you know the truth, the truth will set you free. They are bound by a strong man, and it has got to go. Because how can we bring the Messiah to them if they are bound by this? So please, join me yes. and continue. Lord, we ask that that strong man of Russia be bound and broken, that that bear's jaw be broken, that, that Putin Stalin, it's the same. It's the same spirit. Father, I pray that you bring him down and that he is exposed to the people here and that everyone who went through the Holocaust has a new understanding. Open their eyes, Lord. Speak to them truth. Bring them the truth, your truth. Let them see you face to face. Go and speak to them in their dreams. Talk to them in the daytime. Send the people to them that they need to know. And you promised that you would tell them yourself about you. Let us see it, Lord. Let them hear you. And Lord, I ask again, 100% of them, that they do not leave this earth without you. In the name of Yeshua. our soldiers here in the land we, we we all realize that what's going on has also put us on alert on our borders yeah last week um, last week on Wednesday I went to a big group of soldiers they were just finishing up their course and um, I walked around to different ones and just gave them a hug and, hey, how are you? And so one of the, um, you know, everything was happening just at the beginning of everything last Wednesday with Ukraine. And um, one of the soldiers said, oh, you, you need to meet Philip. And I said, okay. So I said, hey, Philip. And um, I said, where are you from? And I meant like here in the land, where are you from? And he said, I'm from the Ukraine. And I, I said to him, do you have family in the Ukraine still? And he said, yes. And I said, well, let's just pray. And so I, I just, you know, it was an easy prayer. God, watch over Philip's family. Guard over them and protect them. And I realized that with that prayer also, um, you know, the soldiers started talking about what's happening and what could happen to Israel. And... There's, there's so much going on. And Father, we lift up our soldiers before your throne. Father, there are so many even attacks here 
Father, in the land. Father, we ask, Lord, that you would be a shield and a sun, a sun and a shield around our soldiers. Father, that there would be no weapon that is formed against them that would prosper. Father, the same uh, strength and energy and um, yeholet, uh, capability that you are giving the soldiers in the Ukraine, Father, you would give our soldiers here. Father, we ask for our soldiers, Lord, if there's any of them that are filled with fear or any of them that are filled with the, the sense of what's going to happen, Father, we ask that you would come and you would guard over them. Father, you would watch over their thoughts. Watch over, Father, as they go in and as they go out. Father, every Jeep, Father, for our guys way down south, Lord, on the border with Gaza and Egypt, Lord, watch over these units. Lord, you know where every soldier is sitting, and you know the exact um, position that they're in, Abba. Father, you see every little area. And Father, we pray strength for them, Lord. We, we pray, Lord, that their hands are made for battle. Lord, that they would know what they can do. Father, because God, the God of angel armies is on their side. The God of angel armies fights for them. The God of angel armies uh, just sings songs of deliverance over them. Father, watch over our soldiers, I pray. Father, for our commanders, for our leadership. Father, I pray that you would give each one of them words of wisdom to lead our young men and women. Father, that they would hear your voice and they would know to walk this way or walk that away. Father, we ask for your hand to be upon them, Father, for each soldier that we've reached out to, each soldier that we've given a token of your love. Lord, speak to them, Father. We thank you for who you are, Father, that you are the God who sees, the same God who revealed yourself to Hagar. You are the same God who can reveal yourself to our soldiers. Watch over them and be with them, we pray, Father. You know the plans of the enemy. And we know that your right hand is lifted high. We thank you, Father, that you guard and keep, Lord. We ask this in the name of Yeshua. Amen. Just very quickly before we finish, um, just when Susan was praying, I just got the word topple. And I think that word means to overthrow, to overturn, to overcome. And so just wanted to commit a quick prayer that, Lord, you would topple, Lord, uh, this evil regime, and you would bring that great victory. It can only be toppled by your awesome power. Nothing less than that. Only you can do it by your incredibly powerful, righteous right arm. And that is what we pray today. And for soldiers, continuing from what Rene prayed, in the midst of... Um, being disturbed within themselves and fearful and uncertain. Uh, the scripture from Psalm 131 says, Surely I have calmed and quieted my soul like a weaned child with his mother, like a weaned child is my soul within me. So we pray, Father, for this calmness like a weaned child with his mother for each and every soldier, and particularly those in Krivi and combat. And, and are assigned to very dangerous uh, situations and, um, yeah, and those on the borders at night. Lord, those exposed more to the enemy, we pray especially for this calmness to come into their souls. And we pray Psalm 23 over them as well. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Let's just finish singing Psalm 90, the prayer of Moses. Hallelujah. The Lord is everlasting to everlasting. You have been a dwelling place in every generation. Before the mountains are brought forth, before the earth was born. By your word, all things were made.
Father, we thank you for today, Lord. Amen. I just wanted to pray a prayer just to close um, from that word surrounded, um, that we would each remain in him with shalom and with koach, with power of the Holy Spirit, and that even though we're all surrounded by many things, different things and, and, and similar things and the same things, Lord, we know that we're surrounded by you. So we thank you for that, and we pray that you would uh, go with us, be behind us, above us, in front of us, and give us success and victory and help our lives to continue to be fruitful for your kingdom, for your glory. B'Shem Yeshua. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. I just want to remind everybody that we are celebrating Rosh Chodesh this week. On Thursday night, March 3rd at 7 p.m., we will be live streaming again from the top of this mountain. Hallelujah. Blessings, everybody.